Welcome to Castle Crush. Today, guys, we are playing a brand new game. I have done a video on this before on my channel. But today, we are playing Castle Crush. If you like Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, then believe me, guys, you will love Castle Cash. Ugh. I will get that out. Castle Crush. Now, we're going to play through roughly the first 15 minutes of the game. What you have, you have three lanes, and it's all about destroying your opponent's castle. So, let's kick on and see how we play. So we need to drop the drag these guys over here and we're going to pop them in this middle lane. Actually our opponent has dropped down his skeletons behind so now we're going to drop our archers behind there to defend against those. We're going to drop our own guy barbarian down the opposite side here and we're going to drop down our barbarian here to protect these archers. Now as you can see we have a bomb here which is great on taking out our opponents but actually there is no need we was able to take down our opponent's castle giving us a victory and a wooden chest again guys are very similar in that sense to clash royale obviously if you enjoy this channel you know i love clash royale it is my most anticipated and favorite game of all time on the iphone so guys we're going to click ok and we're going to open up this chest we obviously do have a 12 second timer on this and we will get 12 to 18 gold and we will get two cards as you can see guys very similar to clash royale in that sense that obviously after every battle you will get a chest which you get to open to unlock more cards cards that you will use to upgrade your existing cards and to get new cards as well so we have two common cards here you can tell by the blue hue around them we have a bomb which we can now upgrade and we have another warrior not a barbarian i do apologize so we're going to click on our deck we are going to click on our warrior and we are going to upgrade that using five gold taking it to level two giving us a six attack increase and a 24 health increase so you can see we've only got four cards currently available to us. The more you play, the more cards you unlock. So we're going to take on Sir Amato here. As you can see, our opponent has dropped his skeleton, so we're going to drop our warrior in the back. And then we're going to drop the archers behind while the warrior tanks. As you can see, our opponent has dropped down his big ugly goblin. So we're going to drop our guy here, we're going to drop our archers behind, and then we're going to drop the bomb on his Head. And then we're going to drop our second warrior here to help take out that goblin. As you can see, our warrior is tanking up front in that left lane with the archers behind. But as you can see, our archers and barb war our barb warrior are going to take down that tower just like that. Oh, tower, come in, castle. So we have another chest which we are going to open straight away. <clears throat> it's going to take one. Oh no, there we go. Let's see what we're going to get. As you can see, we have one with a yellow hue. So that is a rare card. So first we're going to unlock another warrior. And then we're going to unlock the rare card, which is probably my favourite card, or one of my favourite cards, the pirate. God, isn't she sexy? Just look at her. So let's have a look at her deck. As you can see, she has now been placed in our deck. She is deadly. She is fantastic. She costs a little bit more to actually place than the um, archers costing four but she is deadly so we're going to drop this guy here and then we're going to drop this guy here on defense we're going to drop the archers behind here as you can see our opponent did drop the bomb so we're going to drop our pirate in the back here to help take this out there we go and then we're going to drop the pirate in the middle when we get up to four there we go as you can see here just watch her go. Just watch this one shot. Boom. Two shots. Boom. She is deadly. So as you can see, guys, we are going all out here. Our opponent's not going to be able to defend this attack. And we're just going to absolutely dec decimate Sir Claws here. Just like that. No point placing any more troops on the field. As you can see, very similar to Clash Royale. You wait for your elixir or diamonds, etc. to build up. And then you obviously place your cards. So we're going to unlock this chest here just like that. What do we get here? We have a bomb and we have, oh, we have the Orc Warrior. So have a look at our deck. And as you can see, the Orc Warrior has gone in there. He costs five, but he is a brig brute dealing heavy damage. And he does have a decent amount of HP. Let's take on Sir David. <clears throat> so you like to put your slow guys in at the back to allow to build up a defense behind him. So we're going to stick the archers behind here. And then we're going to drop the bomb on these guys' heads just like that. Then we're going to drop a few more archers behind here just to help speed up that process. 
We're going to drop our own warrior in the front as well. And then we're going to drop this guy in the middle just for the hell of it if we need to. Our opponent drops down his own archers, but when our guys lock on, they are going to go down. And as you can see, our mana is nearly full. We're just going to destroy this castle just like this. As soon as our ult gets there, boom, down it goes. Giving us another very easy victory with our opponent obviously getting nowhere near us. But we do... Oh, I forgot to collect that chest. Oh, well, we'll collect it next time. I misclicked there. <coughs> so as you can see, you can only get maximum of two to start off with. Our opponent, though, is coming at us. So we're going to drop this bomb on those archers' heads just like that. And when our warrior is up, we're going to drop him in the front here. There we go. We're going to drop our archers behind here to take these out. And then we're going to wait for our elixir to build up. And then we are going to drop our warrior up front here. Probably a bit too far forward there. But we're going to drop down the musketeer to help take out this orc. Drop the archers as well to help assist. We're going to drop the bomb as well because we don't want him to take out our pirates. And as you can see here, this right hand lane is going to destroy that castle hopefully. Nope, not quite. So we're going to drop an orc in the centre. There we go. No need for it though. <coughs> because we do take out Sir Bartok just like that. So let's get both these wooden chests opened. Oh my god, I keep misclicking. I do apologise. <laughs> my own fault. So we're going to drop these in the back and then we're going to drop the archer behind. As you can see, our opponent has probably the deadliest card in... Well, one of the most deadliest cards in the game. So we're going to drop our guy down back here. Then we're going to drop down our pirate behind because he is going to absolutely decimate us as you can see here. While warrior is going to go down in front to try and mitigate some of that damage. But as you can see that card, I can't remember his name, is it the Black Knight or something like that, is absolutely deadly. Every swing will take out a troop with one hit. We want to take this out so we're going to drop that bomb there and then we're going to drop the orc down in the middle as well. If you can hear a dog barking, I'm afraid that's my dog outside wanting to come back in after he's had his dinner. Now as you can see, because we're at the final victory, we have got a silver chest here. And we have gone from castle level 1, or we've gone up to castle level 1, which means we can unlock all these cards. The Golem, the Executioner, and as I was saying, the Black Knight. One of my favourite cards, but it does cost 10 to play. So my lord, what should we call you? Is Gaming with Melkor available? Uh, it's probably too long to fit, to be fair. It is. And Melkor 6925 is already taken. So Melkor, Igunen will have to be. Igunen, will that fit? Igu... Oh. Melkor... Today. There we go, that'll do. Just like that. So that's the tutorial, guys, obviously, in the store. We'll just tap to unlock both of these. There we go. We'll uh, come unlock that one in a minute. Obviously, you can only unlock one at a time. So we're just going to open this wooden chest and see what we get. Now, as you can see here, we do have an epic. So let's see what epic that we would have got. It would have been the Jester. <laughs> Psychotic looking, definitely, but all the more fun for it. So we're going to open this wooden chest. We've got one archer, so we can upgrade those. And we've got another dwarf, so we can upgrade the dwarf as well. Let's set this chest going. Now we are going to gem it. We may as well. It will give us 18 to 20 gold or 16. So we've got 16 gold and we got three dwarfs. Obviously, the higher in the castles you go, obviously, the better they are. So let's just have a look at the deck that we currently have. We have the archer, the dwarf, the bomb, the warrior, the jester, the pirate and the orc. So let's upgrade these cards and then we'll do our first live battle. And hopefully we will come away victorious. As you can see, I said hopefully. Now, you do have special offers in the chest. So it will cost us 99p for 8 gems, a great chest and a pile of gold. Now, if you want to see the kind of things that you can get from the chest, I have done a grand chest opening before. So have a look out for that video. I will link it in this video as well, guys. So if you want to check that out, in which I did open a couple of mythical chests. <laughs> I'll tell you something guys, that was fun and I got some interesting cards as well. So let's do our first real-time live battle and see how we do. So, as you can see, 
we'll wait for the uh, mana to build up. I'm going to drop our dwarf in the background. Now we don't have much of support here, so we're going to use this bomb to drop on those archers to take those out. And then we're going to put a bit of support with the warrior up front. When we get to four, we are, oh, sorry, no, we're going to drop the archers down behind it, and our opponent has left the match. Oh dear. Well, that is a shame. So we're going to drop down the pirate here just to uh, assist in destroying that castle. As you can see, our opponent has uh, left, so he's not going to put up any form of defense here, which is a massive shame. So as you can see, we're going to take that out very easily. Our opponent just walking out. I do apologize for that, guys. Unfortunately, it does happen. It's just one of those things. So for that, guys, do you like Castle Crush? Give us five stars for free updates. No, nope, not at this moment in time. For that, I got three gold. I got a flawless victory with 30 cups. And I did get another silver chest. A silver chest, which again, we are going to start. And we are going to gem open. Because we can't be able to wait the three hours. And we'll see what we get. So the common that we got was two warriors. So we can upgrade those. And we got a new rare card. We got the Inferno. Now you play the Inferno on one lane and it'll deal damage to everything within that lane of your opponents it's not a card i enjoy using though i really don't enjoy it at all so we're going to use that are we Ooh, no we're not now since last time i played you actually it you used to be able to have double the amount of cards in your deck as what you can now so i'm going to leave it as it currently is because i'm not overly keen on the inferno it was a card i very rarely use so let's do another battle and let's see if our opponent does stick around for this one like i said guys if you like clash of clans and clash royale this deck is absolutely amazing seriously i absolutely love it so as you can see our opponent has dropped the dwarf in the background there so we're going to drop our archers down behind as you can see our opponent has dropped his archers down the other side Hopefully our level 2 bomb will take those out. Yes, they will. So we are going to drop down our Jester. Just see how our Jester attacks. Actually, boom, it hits it back. Our opponent did, unfortunately, drop down his bomb in that right uh, channel. Silly move, really, because it doesn't really affect him. So as you can see here, our Jester, and that pushes the Orc back. I'm going to drop the bomb on its head. There we go. But all the time, our opponents are working their way down this right-hand channel. So we are going to take out that orc very quickly. There we go. So we are starting to deal some serious damage to our opponent's tower. As you can see, unfortunately, we are going to lose that pirate. But we are going to take it out with the orc. We're going to drop down a second orc as well to take out our opponent's pirate. And then we're going to use our warrior in the centre here. Our opponent does have his level 2 orc. But our level 1 is going to take it out because obviously it did have a level advantage. As you see, our opponent does drop down a card that you've not seen before. But we're not going to have a chance to take it out. We still was able to get a flawless victory there. Oh no, sorry, not quite a flawless victory because we did do have a bit of damage dealt to our tower. But it was a victory nonetheless. Giving us 28 cup and that silver chest. So we're going to gem this silver chest yet again. And then we're just going to do one more battle, guys, before we call it a day. But I'm saying, guys, this game's amazing. If you love Clash of Clans, if you love Clash Royale, this game is for you. Now, we have got the Golem card. Woo! A fantastic card. Get it up front and let it deal that damage. It will not deal much damage in return, but it will soak up all the damage that you could ever want. Cost of four, obviously a bit of info. Only attack 30, but it has eight hundred health so get it up front it will just take all the damage that you need allowing your archers and your pirate and your orc to deal the brunt of the damage there now we have got a free chest here which we're going to open which gives us two dwarfs and oh another golem so let's have a look at our deck we will get these archers upgraded we may as well get them up to level three as quickly as possible as you can see we are about to level up as well so as soon as we upgrade this dwarf we will be able to level up guys Woohoo! so as you can see we are now going to go to level two fantastic giving us them additional hit points we will upgrade our warrior as well, seeing as though we can. Upgrading to level 2. So, we'll do one more battle before we call it a day. Uh, as you can see, every victory gives you a victory chest, guys. Once you get to 5, you get the victory chest as well. But obviously, we're not going to have time for that today. 
So, one more live battle against Jack. He has 52 cups, so let's see how he does. As you can see, there's plenty of emotions, so let's wish him good luck. Now, we're going to drop the archers up front. Oh, as you can see, our opponent has level 3 archers. I am not sure, though, if a level 2 bomb will take out level 3 archers. We will see. Yes, it does. Our opponent drops down his bomb at the same time, taking out ours as well. So, as you can see, our opponent has dropped his dwarf in the center. So, I'm going to drop my pirate behind here. There we go. So we're going to hopefully take that out very quickly. And then I'm going to drop down. You got it. The Jester. Now I am going to drop down my warrior. And then I'm going to drop down a second warrior. As you can see our opponent did use that card I was telling you about. The Inferno. Which took out all those troops on my side of the field. So we're going to drop down the Orc here. As you can see. Ooh. That troop there. When it does it destroys one opponent on your side of the, of the channel. We're going to drop the pirate down here to hopefully take it out. Unfortunately, not in time. We are now in double card mode, so we have our pirates and our archers going against that tower. Our opponent did drop down that bomb, but he wasn't able to take out the pirate. As you can see here, our jester is going... Uh, sorry, our, our jester is slowing those troops down, allowing our orc and the pirates to take them out as quickly as possible. Now, we are going to drop down the archers here in the background. There we go. And then we're going to drop down the bomb on these guys. But as you can see, our guys are just going to town. We're going to draw a card. I'm going to drop our roan in the back. We're going to drop our pirate here. But as you can see, we are slowly working away on our opponent's tower here. Thanks to those two pirates. We're going to drop the jester down here for support. Oh, as you can see, do you see our opponent there? Oh, fantastic. He stopped the damage at 541. So we are continuing our push up here. We are dropping them behind and we are dropping the pirate behind here. We're going to drop the bomb on this guy's head, trying to get his damage down just a bit. We're going to draw another card and drop that orc as well in the center. We're dropping the jester. We're dropping the archers here. But we're going to get on that tower, on that castle very quick, guys. And we're going to take a very solid victory. Good game. Well played. A flawless victory, guys, giving us another silver chest. We're going to gem this chest, guys, because we can, and then we're going to call it a day. Like I say, guys, this game is fantastic. If you enjoy Clash of Clans, if you enjoy Clash Royale, you will love Castle Crush. Believe me, guys, I've really enjoyed it. So we're going to open this chest, and we're going to see what we get. We have two common cards. We have a new card. We have the Skeletons. And we have some more Archers, as well as 18 Gold. So we could use them and put them in our deck, but I'm not too worried about them at this moment in time. The synergy of this deck is working quite well at level 2. Obviously, you can progress through the different castle levels. My other account is currently sat in the Angelic Temple with just over 2,000 cups. So, guys, that's it from me. If you like what you see, comment below let me know. If you've not subscribed already, do me a massive favour and smash that subscribe button. I've got more Castle Crush videos on this video, which I will leave in the little icon in the top corner. So give that a click for the other Castle Crush videos with my magical chest openings, which I'm sure you will love. So, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Take care.